This is the Pulse of the Plankton for the week of May 24th, 2021. Fresh from the edge of San Francisco Bay via light microscope, a snapshot of local marine plankton. They're the living ocean drifters. In this Pulse of the Plankton, from our week of plankton footage, came the following plankton highlights. The zooplankton, they're the animal plankton that eat other organisms. This is a rotifer in an egg. Isn't it amazing? You can see it moving inside of its egg. Look at the variety of copepods. The shape of the antenna, the size of the body, the length of the tail, so much variety. And here is Zoea. Now this is a baby crab. And look at that spine coming off of its back and those huge eyes. You can even see its heart fluttering. They're spectacular. And then there are polychaetes and another copepod, this time one with eggs. Oh, there it goes. Now polychaetes come in all different shapes and sizes, and many of them start off their life in the plankton and then settle out of the plankton as they mature. This one here, it started settling out and it's building this amazing tube out of anything it finds nearby. Here we're zoomed in on this polychaete. And look how it uses its palps, those long tentacle-like things, to pull material closer in and build that tube it's gonna live in. Isn't that amazing? There's diatoms and detritus bits of anything near at hand. But wait, 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 wait. Look at that. Up on the top, on the left-hand side. Do you see it? Right there. Look at this amazing chain of clones. They're diatoms moving one against the other, gliding past past each other and glued to a polychaete tube. Phytoplankton for the week of May 24th, 2021. Now here you see some blue diatoms. They're not special. Well, they're all special, but the blue ones are acting like little prisms and they're actually making microscopic rainbows inside their cells after they've died. This next diatom is a catoceros. It's actually a chain of diatoms. You can see the structures coming off of it like spines. Pacific Coast Ocean Weather for the week of May 24th, 2021. This is our last pulse of May, so we'll talk a bit about how this month has been. We started off May talking about the strong northerly winds that continued to fuel springtime upwelling. Then we shifted into about a week of intense fog and continued high phytoplankton productivity in our waters. That was evident when we could peek through the clouds but we never really stopped talking about those northerly winds, which always seem to be at the ready to pick up. Those northerly winds fuel a process called upwelling when our seasonal northerly winds cause nutrient-rich deep water to upwell into sunlit waters. They often induce springtime phytoplankton blooms like the diatom blooms we've been seeing this spring. These flags being blown by those northerly winds were the most regular feature in our reports this spring because it has been an exceptional spring in terms of the intensity and persistence of upwelling winds. So to wrap up the month, just how exceptional did May turn out to be? Here's the climatology we like to use for orientation. The path of dots leads us through a typical year in terms of upwelling intensity. 
that's the x-axis, and nitrate richness of upwelling waters, the y-axis. Here is a dot that shows where a typical May would land. And here is our May of 2021. We are to the far upper right of a typical May because May 2021 saw exceptionally intense upwelling of exceptionally nitrate-rich deep water. Now we've heard that 2021 was a La Nina year. So how do we compare to the May of another strong La Nina year? Say, May of 1999? May of 1999 sits shoulder to shoulder with May 2021. The upwelling water of May 2021 is comparably rich, but May 2021 lands to the right of May 1999. Upwelling intensity was even higher. Now, El Nino is the reverse of La Nina and is associated with low upwelling intensity, nutrient poor upwelling waters. So just for fun, we'll put in May of 1998, a famously strong El Nino year. Low upwelling intensity and low nitrate in upwelling waters lands May of 1998 where we would expect below and left of the typical May and diametrically opposed to our La Nina May of 2021. So yeah, it's been a productive spring. We look forward to discovering what June and the start of summer will bring. That was the Pulse of the Plankton for the week of May 24th, 2021. Hey, it's Jim Metzner, and you've been listening to The Pulse of the Plankton. Now, if you've enjoyed this program, I would encourage you to find and support your nearest national marine sanctuary, because wherever you may live, the plankton of this planet are always downstream. Like and subscribe for more plankton-related content.